Hello everyone, Jan here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Anki. Um, I'm using Anki on my iPhone here, and the language that I'm studying is Indonesian. So we'll just give you a quick demonstration um, of how it works. Okay, so the word that I'm learning here is um, I, and then the formal way to say I in the Indonesian. Then on top of that, you can also see an example sentence, I am at home. So for the 50 day flashcard challenge, we'll be focused on learning vocabulary. So um, I have to translate this word I, the formal way to say I into Indonesian, which is saya. I think. Now, by just tapping on the screen, I can see the answer. Saya. Saya di rumah. And um, I can also hear the audio, of course. And I also see the translation of the example sentence, which was, I am at home. And here it says, saya di rumah. Now, I got the word correct, right? So I can basically click on the, on the green button. Uh, sorry, on the green button on the bottom here, where it says 10 minutes. And then it will let me revise this words in 10 minutes from now. Now, if you think this word was really easy for you, you can click on the one day button and then it will show you this word um, next day again. Um, at this stage, I won't pay too much attention to the example sentence because you know I'm a complete beginner. I'm focusing on learning the most important words, so, but I'm reading the sentence so that I can slowly also get familiar with um, with the sentence structure and also with other words that appear in the sentence. Okay, so this word was quite easy for me. I will click on one day. Um, now it asks me, how do you say you? You um, should be kamu. Are you English? Kamu. Apa kamu orang Inggris? Mm -hmm. So kamu was correct. I can click on one day. Now tomorrow it will show me this flashcard again. And if I get it correct again tomorrow, then it will show me this flashcard in, I'm not sure, I think like in three days or in four days. So over time, this app Anki is going to know which words are easy for you and which words are not. And it will show you the words you have difficulties with more often than um, the words that are easy for you. Right. So that's called spaced repetition. Are you at home? You're formal. It should be under. Anda. Apakah anda di rumah? And the translation of the sentence, Apaka Andi Ruma. Again, I'm just reading it to get familiar, but you know, I will count this as correct because I knew the word I'm learning vocabulary here. Well, that's uh, just a short overview how Anki works. You also have, uh, you can check the statistics here. So you can see that today I studied 15 cards in four minutes. Um, lots of information there. You can also see like what percentage of the total deck that you have studied and um, yeah, that was it. If you have any questions about Anki, then let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.